Well, tonight traffic is back to normal on Interstate 95 in Virginia after a winter storm had it at a standstill for nearly 30 hours. Also, an Amtrak train that was supposed to get into Penn Station yesterday evening still hasn't arrived. CBS News' Corey James live at Penn Station now, where he spoke to passengers from the tri-state area dealing with these travel nightmares. Corey. Yeah, Christine, those passengers were actually supposed to get here yesterday evening before 7 o'clock, but those icy conditions, the snowy weather impacted their commute and in many cases gave them an extra day of travel that a lot of people didn't want. We've been stuck for 22 hours. This is totally ridiculous. Passengers on board a train from New Orleans to New York City stranded in Lynchburg, Virginia. It's trees on the track. All because of a powerful winter storm. I said, oh. Claire Cecil was among those trapped, but it was not only bad for them. We've been in the car for about 17, going on 18 hours. Drivers on Interstate 95 were also impacted, including a CBS Miami reporter. It is a parking lot. And Virginia Senator Tim Kaine. The only thing I ate was one orange, and the only liquid I had was one 16 ounce Dr. Pepper. Officials say a blizzard leaving a foot of snow shut down 40 miles of the interstate. Crews blaming heavy rain that fell ahead of the intense snow, preventing them from treating the highway. I'm not surprised. Allie Byers works for a Texas based company that recently studied Interstate 95 and found it to be the most dangerous highway in the U.S., with many accidents occurring in the Northeast during the winter. What we saw was a lot of drivers um, practicing risky, risky driving behaviors. But in this case, snowy weather was the cause of this massive backup, both on the highway and tracks. It's not Amtrak's fault. Being not stuck on the train for 14 hours. And I just spoke with one of the passengers on board that train. She said they left Baltimore about 45 minutes ago. Amtrak says the train is expected to be here after midnight around 1234. They've also said that they've given all the passengers on board who were stranded food and water. We're live outside Penn Station. Corey James, CBS 2 News. All right, Corey, thank you.